Are you getting what I'm saying? We are not trying to be superstar. When you paint yourself as a superstar, you die before your time. Because people will expect from you what only Jesus can give. A man of God said one time he was walking in the night just trying to go and buy suya. And the member said, Daddy, what is... The member shouted as if the man was collecting fornication. He said, Daddy, you are eating suya. Oh, my God. The man said, what? Am I a spirit? Hello? Some of us ministers, we need to come to our congregation and tell, and tell them. Don't just tell them I fasted for 20 Just like I said, now, two hundred and two hundred days. No. Come and tell them, too. I slept yesterday for about six hours. Let them know you are human. If everything you are telling them is, is spirituality, they will begin to see you as a spirit. And you will die before your time. Come to the altar and tell them, yesterday, I had to run around your car. If you see the fish, eh? <laughs> I ate and I took more. But nobody will say that one. Meanwhile, they are they are foodies at all. <laughs> Must we always tell them everything that is spiritual about us? Don't wonder all oh, some of these are men of God. Now people are seeing them as spirits. Some of them, when they are coming, you almost lie down for them to step on you when they are not Jesus. You are not a spirit, sir. Are you there? God may be using you, but you are not God. God may be speaking through you, but you are not God. That you can hear God does not mean you have become a God. Calm down, sir. Calm down. And that's the problem we have today. So you joined the faith for, and for the past 20 years, you are still praying in the name of your man of God. In the name of Pastor so, so, so sir, when will you know God for yourself? You can start like that because you have not known God. But after some time, you should be able to say, my God. This God is not just his God. It's also my God. It takes relationship to boldly say, my God. God came to Moses. He did not say, I'm your God. He said, I'm the God of your fathers. I don't know you. We are just starting relationship now. Maybe after today, you, you cannot say, my God. But I'm the God of your fathers. I know your fathers. I don't know you. Have somebody close to you, you are not a spirit. Calm down, sir. Let's tell, hello. As you tell them the spiritual part of you, tell them the physical part. Let them know you trekked one time and you were tired and you stepped up. Somebody said there was a man of God, he did something in a video and he honored you for that. See, when you try to ask foolishly, only the foolish will honor you. But the wise knows that you are not wise. Because wisdom knows our children. Wisdom knows our children. Wisdom knows our children. The man of God was in a video. And he was the, you know, he was a senior pastor. You know, in this small church, you know, they used to have bench on the altar and in the congregation. <laughs> he started the video. He did not know how to pray. Amen. He called his assistant pastor. Please come and continue this video. He went to the altar and lied on the bench. <laughs> He went to lie on the bed. I will not die before my time. Continue this thing. I'm with you in the field. I get what I'm saying. Sometimes come to your people and tell them, sorry, I came late, I was sleeping. But every time when you come late, it's where well, I was with the Lord, you know, I began to dance some things with the spirit. Sir, 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 sir. Sir. Ah, yes. Sir. No wonder a pastor will say, Your passport is in my shoe. Where is that shoe? <laughs> and the man is removing the shoe. And they believe. <laughs> Paul was so angry one time in the scripture. He said, Oh, ye foolish Galatia, who has bewitched you? Come. Come. People are so gullible now that if they say only goes for food, they will buy it. I'm not joking, sir. Somebody can be. Have you not seen a minister who asks the people to be eating grasses and they be on the field like, like animals? There's one man of God, his leg does not touch the ground. Somebody will carry him here. <laughs> carry him here. Carry him here. Yeah. 
living a life in bondage. What we call freedom is bondage. To have less now, you cannot use it. Because you have become a spirit. So they have to carry you around. When you are not a lame man. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Don't make the people see you as a spirit. Otherwise, they will expect too much from you. The Bible is a perfect book for us to follow. The Bible told us, and Jesus was resting on a pillow. When Jesus is praying, they will tell us he went to a solitary place and prayed. Another place in the Bible says Jesus, Jesus was not able to speak. He was the, he found one pillow. Can I get a pillow, please? He slept. When Jesus ate, the Bible told us, and Jesus broke bread with his disciples. Can I tell you the truth? I moved by revelation and I enter into the story where the you know where Jesus fed them with five loaves of bread and three fishes. Jesus, after feeding the people with those bread and fishes, he ate them. They ate together. They were not eating. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, why the girls? Why is deception everywhere? People are eating. You are speaking the talk. <laughs> Meanwhile, they go now. You gather seven people's food. You swallow it. <laughs> Can you cry with your body, please? As you are going on, to, if you are truly a child of God, you should not leave this place without a body. I'm done with my message. But you go. You should not be laughing when you are walking.